Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I've had a lot going on. So today I'm going to do two videos. One's going to be just a brief catch up and one is gonna be a video on writing. So this is the catch up video. And if you want to see the writing video, just give it a little while and it will be up too. And hmm, well, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and give this video a Thumbs up if you would, and we'll get started here in just a moment. Oh, so yeah, it has been one hell of a past few months. I can't even remember what I talked about last time, but I have a couple things to tell you. First, the Tangled Sky the second Hedge Dragon book is being turned into a novella. Uh, it is at my editor's right now. I am going to be reducing the price. And if you've already pre-ordered it, you will get that reduced price. And I have a reason for this and it's not easy to talk about. So I'm gonna to try to get through it without any tears. Hopefully now I, I won't break down. Um, Fact is, and I didn't, I didn't discover this until about a week ago when I had a meeting with my, uh, she's not exactly a writing coach in terms of helping me with my writing, but she helps me with my process and she helps me understand, um, she helps me understand my own process and how I do things. Anyway. So let's get into it. Um, when I first started the Hedge Dragon series, it was shortly before Kaylee got sick. And during writing The Poisoned Forest, you know, with, she went from perfectly, seeming perfectly fine uh, one day to within a week dying in my arms. And that was absolutely traumatic. Uh, I'm still not over it, obviously. But what I did not realize is that I linked that trauma to writing that series. And I had a hard time writing the first book. It wasn't that I didn't like it. It wasn't that I didn't like the characters. But it just, every time I started to approach it, I would want to do anything else. Finally got it done, got it out. People seem to like it. I'm very grateful for that. And then I started the second book and the same thing. And I was just like, what's going on? Something is going on. So long story short, in talking to my coach at one point, she, she pointed out, she was like, do you think you have linked the trauma uh, and the grief of losing Kaylee to writing this series. And it, alarms just went off inside. It was like, bing, 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 that's the answer. So yeah, somehow I have gotten all that grief, which I really didn't fully express, mixed up with the writing of the series, of the Hedge Dragon series. And until I un gravel that, I'm going to have to set the series on the shelf for a while. I'm hoping I'll be able to approach it without that, that anxiety coming up um, eventually, maybe later this year. I turned the second book into a novella. I'm going to lower the price and I think you'll enjoy it. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it. But yeah, I am moving on to the Night Queen series and back to the Moonshadow Bay series and also to a new paranormal women's fiction series for parts of this year. Hello, Ellie. Come here. Come here. Say hi to the peoples. Um, our cats, our, our kittens are six months old. Look at that. Look at this. They are both almost nine pounds at six months old. 
I'm going to have their DNA done, uh, DNA tested to see if they maybe have some Maine Coon or Ragdoll or some big cat in them. I mean, look at this face. Look at this face. It's adorable and it's still a kitten. She's still a kitten. However, she is big and they're both. This isn't just fluff. This is cat. <laughs> okay, yeah. She loves to, you know, don't eat my hair. She loves to sit up on my shoulder, uh, which can be problematic. When she races to me and leaps against my chest, you know, you might not want to lick my face. I got foundation on. But uh, back to back to the subject. It's been a traumatic past few months, and. I need a break and I need to work on things that I do not associate with Katie. Oh, miss her so much, but we love our babies, our new babies. And Apple is doing well. And Bridge Apple's over there, if you can see. Um, actually, yeah, he's in the kitty condo. And he and Bridget are almost dwarfed by their baby sisters. Um, Bridget, constantly weighs between about eight to nine pounds and apple usually clocks in at about barely eight and we have two babies who are over eight and a half pounds each now and just six months i can hear kiersey in the background um anyway so that's my news that is the news about the books at this point i like storm i hope to revisit her and i'm pretty sure i'll be able to but it's going to take some time to unravel those emotions in my mind. And uh, yeah, it, <laughs> it's been quite a, quite a time. I am uh, working on the first Night Queen book, though. And, you know, I, I figured out something. And I think my other world fans will be happy. Lyrical, the main character is kind of like Camille, although she's darker and she's going to be fun to write. Um, so I hope you'll enjoy reading her. And another thing, Weaver's Web, the novella that was in the Age to Perfection um, anthology, which is no longer available. I am turning that novella into a full book. So if you've read the novella, you'll get to read it again when I put it back out with a bigger story around it. And uh, if you haven't read the novella, well, you'll be able to read, you'll be able to read it within the context of a larger book. As far as the new paranormal women's fiction, it's called the Magic Happens series, and I'm really looking forward to writing it because it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Oh, Ellie, you are a sweetheart. Ellie has decided I'm her person. Only she's not nearly as skittish as Kaylee was, which is good. I'm encouraging, you know, my assistant Andrea to interact with them a whole lot and get them used to being handled by somebody besides me. <laughs> and Kiersey is friendly too. She's a little more independent than Ellie. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Uh, I'm so glad we got these babies. And they are so pretty. They're so pretty. But uh, I guess that's all the news that's fit the print, so to speak. Uh, I am playing lots of Valheim. So much so that I've had to back off a little because my tendonitis has been really affecting me. Uh, otherwise than that, well, life moves on. Sam and I are doing fine. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it for now. And if you are interested in my other video, it should be out shortly after this one is. So. Talk to you later, peeps. Take care. And, uh, oh, yeah.
here. Why don't you show them their beautiful face? She's like, Mom, I want to just snuggle. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Talk to you later, guys. <laughs>